Today, we're going to explore the fascinating world of energy transformations. Energy is all around us, and it can change from one form to another in many amazing ways. Let's dive in and see some examples. Chemical to thermal energy. When we light a candle, the process transforms chemical energy stored in the wax into thermal energy, or heat. Similarly, lighting a sparkler converts the chemical energy in its composition to both heat and light, demonstrating how energy stored in chemicals can be released as warmth and illumination. Thermal to chemical energy. Cooking an egg is an example of thermal energy transforming into chemical energy. The heat from cooking changes the structure of proteins in the egg turning it from liquid to solid. This process shows how heat can cause chemical changes in matter, specifically altering the protein's bonds and structures. Light to chemical energy. Photosynthesis is a process where plants convert light energy from the sun into chemical energy stored in glucose, a type of sugar. This transformation is crucial for the plant's growth and is a fundamental example of how light can be converted into chemical energy. Kinetic to light energy. Activating a glow stick initiates a chemical reaction that converts chemical energy into light energy. The kinetic energy from bending and shaking the stick triggers this reaction, producing visible light without the need for an external power source. Elastic to kinetic energy. When we stretch and then release a rubber band, the stored elastic potential energy is transformed into kinetic energy, propelling the rubber band forward. This demonstrates how energy stored in stretched materials can be converted into motion. Kinetic to elastic potential energy and vice versa. Pulling back a bow, stores your arm's movement energy as elastic potential energy in the bow's string. Releasing it transforms this stored energy back into kinetic energy, propelling the arrow forward. Stretching a rubber band converts kinetic energy from your hands into elastic potential energy within the band. Letting go releases this energy, snapping the band back into place. Winding up a toy stores kinetic energy from your hand, turning into elastic potential energy in the toy's spring. Releasing it sets the toy in motion as the energy converts back. Pumping air into a balloon stretches it, storing elastic potential energy. Releasing the balloon allows it to convert this energy back into kinetic energy, making it fly. Pulling on a Newton meter converts kinetic energy into elastic potential energy in its spring. Releasing it demonstrates how the spring converts elastic potential energy back into kinetic energy, showcasing energy transformation. Kinetic to gravitational potential energy and vice versa. Pushing a car up a ramp stores kinetic energy as gravitational potential energy at the top. When the car is released, this potential energy converts back into kinetic energy as it speeds down. Another example is Newton's cradle, which shows how energy transfers between objects, converting kinetic energy to potential energy and back as the balls swing back and forth. The motion of one ball transfers energy through the others, demonstrating continuous energy conversion. Energy is constantly changing forms all around us, and these are just a few examples of how it happens. As you go about your day, see if you can spot more energy transformations in action. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.